Hello viewers, welcome to the second episode of Street Law. I am Elijah, your host today. Today we shall be considering a very important topic, which is gender-based violence. Come with me, let's listen to the opinions and the views of people on the street in Kampala. Hello, what's your name? I'm called Wasike Peter Philip. What do you understand by gender-based violence? Uh, the violence that occurs between the two partners, uh, while maybe in relationship or in marriage, uh, but it's the insulting of each other. And uh, which can be either emotionally, it can be either mentally, it can be either even physically, because I've ever seen people fighting, uh, killing uh, each other. It's what I can understand. Let me say it from this perspective of married people. Sometimes men tend to take women that are weak or their possession, that their possessions, that their pets, that actually you're supposed to do what they tell you. Not thinking of your feelings and what you feel about what they've told you. Like maybe even most of the times our families as women, most especially Africans, when you raise some issues, they say, Mnange, you obey your husband. If he has said so, don't do anything. <laughs> do you get it? Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Have you ever been in a relationship before? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you been beaten or harassed by anyone in your relationship? Uh, not, no, no, not really. No. Yeah. Yes, I've ever, ever had my friend who have ever experienced it. Yeah. What type of violence was that? It was uh, a verbal violence in terms of quarrels because of other domestic issues. Yeah. What was the cause? Like uh, misunderstanding. So if we like, I tell my husband, I want this. Sometimes he slap me, he beats me. Yes, simply because of misunderstanding between the two perhaps in the homes. Maybe not, not only maybe two. I may even say in a, in a family. Will you advise that people or victims who are suffering from gender-based violence? What will you advise them to do? But the only best solution is uh, to learn your friend. To learn, uh, like, if one is pissed off, how should I handle this person? Then at the end of the matter, you'll find that if you develop the patience in you and how to solve that issue, you end up when the violence is done. So the advice I can give to those young girls over there is that when you experience that gender-based violence, eh, the only way, if you cannot handle it but as you personally at your level, then you seek for advice to the elders or at least to the local councils or at least if it is beyond, you seek to the police because you need to be counseled instead. You, it may, it, sometimes many people lose their life in them. So it needs so it is just a way of how you un understand how to handle things amicably. It is what I can only say. Uh, Thank you so much. Sometimes I decide to move away. I first leave him because I want peace of mind. Yeah, the quarrels need maturity. Otherwise, uh, you may it may end 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 out in fighting because uh, yeah, some people are born with their hunger. Other people are born when they are calm. Other people know how to handle situations. So. Uh, Depending on the magnitude of the quarrel, if you can quench it down just a mind of, as a piece of respect to one another, at a time you can solve it like that. Me, it was actually separation. Because I had no one to talk to, my in-laws never loved me. I wouldn't stress my parents because, you know, most of the time when you call your parents and complaining, they tend to take the situation again bad for them. At the same time, when they feel sick or they get this kind of pressure, they call you, we are sick and what. So I had to swallow that pain in me. I had to set, I had to set out and go somewhere to separate. That was it. When two uh, are not understanding each other, then that, uh, that one comes in. But when you two sit down perhaps and you settle uh, you talk slowly, it's just, an, <laughs> you see, this gender-based, uh, whatever, gender violence is actually, uh, it's all, all about misunderstanding. But when, when two people can understand, there's, uh, there's nothing of that sort. Mm. Thank you viewers for turning in and listening to the opinions and the perspective of people on the street regarding the matters at hand. I encourage you to download the Juria Media app on Google Play Store and I also encourage you to follow us on all our social media platforms for more and detailed conversation. Thank you. See you next time.